Happening right now, an all-night protest outside the New York State Capitol. People are planning to camp out, calling for parole reform bills to be passed. Sabrina Dami was there today as they made their pleas to lawmakers, and she's here now. Sabrina? Mark, this movement has gained momentum. Many lawmakers are now behind passing these two parole reform bills. Today, I spoke with one woman in tears, hoping this may somehow help bring her daughter home. You lock them up and throw away the key. My daughter is one of these people. Donna Robinson fears time is running out to pass parole reform that could help her daughter get out of prison. When she went away and that sense said life, I never thought it would be a death sentence. Her daughter, Al Sharifa, is 45 years old with four children. She's been at Bedford Hills for five years now, serving a sentence for two murders. She set fire to a house where her boyfriend lived. Two people died. Donna says it was domestic dispute. She's serving 15 years to life. Donna says she's scared when it's time for her daughter to be up for parole. She won't get a fair shot. Because on the end of that sentence, it says life. And I've spoken to people who were sentenced 15 to life, and they've been in there 25, 35 years. So there's no guarantee, and this is why we need this bill. What's your greatest fear as her mother right now? That I won't live. <laughs> and my mother won't live to see her come home. Well, as it stands right now, the two bills, the fair and timely bill and the elder parole bill are both in committee right now in the state Senate and Assembly. Mark. Thanks, Sabrina.